Welcome to City Talk. I'm Brenda Oliver. I'm with the City of Columbia Parks and Recreation Department and I run the Columbia Art Center on Calhoun Street. I'm here today to let you know about our winter break art camp for ages five to nine for the four days after Christmas and before New Year's. You know, when the kids are, all the energy's gone because they've already opened Christmas, but you want them to do something, so we're providing something. This is good because it provides an outlet for parents, uh, some stress relief, as it were. We, um, especially the younger group, the five to nine, they're high energy all the time. And this will be a four day intensive art camp. Uh, it will be from 9A to 12P, and that gives a parents time to relax or have that quiet cup of coffee, mm -hmm. or perhaps those donuts they've been hiding from the kids. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, allows the kids to have fun with other children and explore art in different mediums because we do pottery and painting. We will probably focus, since it'll be after Christmas, on some New Year activities. And with it being still winter, I'm sure we'll create at least one snowman out of clay mm -hmm. and possibly some, um, if we have any Jewish children, we'll do some uh, stuff for Hanukkah and we are going to try to incorporate some Kwanzaa activities into it also. So they will be celebrating those occasions with uh, working something in pottery and then drawing it, and it'll be theme related. We have got a teacher that is excellent with this age group. And what we typically do on the four day workshops or camps is that uh, we work with our clay first. So the first couple of days, you're gonna get dirty. <laughs> because the clay is not a clean hobby. <laughs> but um, they get excited about working with the clay. And then while the clay is, the projects are being fired and ready for them to take home, they'll follow it up with painting some activities that might relate. Let me give you an example. One spring break art camp, uh, we were looking at all things spring. So they made some frogs out of clay, okay? And then while the frogs, after they'd painted them while they were being baked in our kiln, uh, they made out of paper a big pond with lily pads on it and everything. So that when they got the frog out, it could sit on its lily pad in the pond. Mm -hmm. And you know, just things like that so that it all ties together. The sense of pride, you know, I did this. Uh, we've got some in fact, we've got two little boys now in our after-school program that one of them wanted to do art and the other one wasn't sure. He kind of poo-pooed the idea. And they are the ones with the biggest smiles on their faces now when I go into that classroom and check on how things are going. Um, the kids are proud of what they create. And we're not turning out Picassos, but we are turning out children that are enjoying what they're doing. $65 for the um, four days, and I do have some limited amount of scholarships available. We only accept 10 children. Mm -hmm. um, number one, it's hard to do art with the larger volume of children, and we, we are restricted in our space size, uh, and our minimum is four. We ask that they bring a snack, because typically what we do because it's from 9 to 12, typically about 10.30, we have a break. Mm -hmm. And then they circle up, and that's how they get to know each other a little bit better. And it gives the teacher time to set up for the next project. It's a unique opportunity. Um, I believe we're one of the few places in town that so successfully combined both pottery, clay, with paper mm -hmm. and painting. And it's kind of a nice meld of the two arts, and they complement each other very well. And we like to see the smiles on the faces of the kids.